Are you ready to play? <laughs> what do I go into? Look for the dark mist. Mm -hmm. Oceanus. Oceanus. Yeah. Launch, Launch game. game or? Launch. <sighs> I'm already in the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I took the time and made the stage. Yeah, it's so crazy now. And there's creepy music. Yes, the creepy, uh, like, come to play with us. <laughs> no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so... Hey, I went. <laughs> So, uh, last time when we played, you guys uh, sneaked into Lord Eldard's house. Uh, you guys found Tiberius, but didn't talk to him. He was looking through some of the books. He seems really interested in some of the books that they have. Um, you guys went up to the second floor and, uh, and found a locked door. There was someone inside the locked door. You guys don't know who. And then... Uh, I I changed the map a bit, so I, I'll show you guys when you guys get back there. But you guys also found a kitchen that had nothing. Uh, all the food was rotted and bad. Mm. Uh, and then you guys went upstairs again to the final floor, and where, that's where you found um, Eldard's room. You guys snuck in there, and... Uh, and saw that he was in the bathroom, uh, more or less uh, coughing. You guys don't know mm. why. Oh, you guys know why he's sick. But, uh, but yeah. Uh, and then you guys waited for him outside. And as soon as he opened the door, oh, he just closed the door. <laughs> he just closed the door. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so uh, as soon as uh, he came out, uh, Zuzo forgot to activate the bell, so he spoke for a bit, and then and then Zuzo activated the bell, thus silencing him. And then you guys have been having a conversation by using pen and paper, and you guys are talking. Um, mm -hmm. And now you guys are in the playroom area of the third floor. You guys have been discussing uh, why he's not doing anything. Uh, why does his people look so sick? Why is he so sick? And he's pretty much been giving you the same answers and he just doesn't want you guys to be here as far as you guys can tell. Uh, you guys have asked for his uh, parents and want to know what happened, but he seems to be avoiding the question. Mm. And that that's where we are. Okay. Uh, also, his guard came up. Yeah, he did like a secret knock that you pretty much understood. Like, oh yeah, that's not good. And he came up. <laughs> uh, it's fine for now. The, the guard doesn't seem to be nasty for mm -hmm. the moment. So, is there any other questions you'd like to ask Lord Eldar? Uh, I think we asked everything we wanted, I guess. Maybe Mato has another question she would like to... Uh... Uh, no? uh, let's see. Uh, she would walk over and whisper into your ear that um, either either uh, he's avoiding the the parent question because he killed them, or maybe it was just so tragic. But I think the parents is the key. Um, can we make another test to see if he will answer to the parent question or maybe can we get some more time or um yeah, Zizo can't speak but right now he's currently playing <laughs> yes, with so toys he's, uh, <laughs> he's mute for now does, does Zizo do anything he looks around <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, I think probably probably just just look around, around actually. actually. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, bags, stuff. Yeah, you you see uh, a bunch of chests, a bunch of toys on the ground, some cabinets, 
uh, boxes in the corner. You see some windows. Mm. Uh, what about we we had asked about uh, our friend uh, Half Dragon, right? Yeah, yeah, Tiberius. He just uh, was, yeah, he was just greeted inside the home and yeah, and I think, yeah. As far as you guys know, yes, uh, Tiberius is looking for a cure for uh, Lord Eldar. Uh, to just I did a, sp a small summary, but. People look depressed, they don't go out because they don't want to, or they are forced to to stay home somehow, is uh, it right? From, from what you guys can tell, yes, people look depressed, they, they look a little bit sick and pale. Um, they choose not to leave, from what you guys can tell. Okay, and what is preventing them from uh, starting to hunt again or to to get some uh, i don't know food outside or you guys have no idea as far as, as far as you guys know eldar is telling them not to leave uh then i asked this to the to the lord uh i would like to know why the the people out there uh, aren't going just to hunt in the forest or It's dangerous out there. That's what he writes. Uh, yeah, it's dangerous. But I, I, I mean, no one can get food if they don't even uh, use. I don't know. Wait, I must find the word because I don't remember. Yeah. Uh, yeah, agriculture, farming. They don't use it. Don't do it. Yep. They, they they don't do anything even the 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 people who sell food and everything like their food is bad or they have no food at all but they still have the store open and they don't even want your money they just want more food mm. <laughs> uh, can we can we make a, some kind of agreement maybe with the with the lord and the uh, Maybe we can offer some help if he gives us um, pieces of lands where we can uh, ask people to, to use agriculture and things like this. Maybe the, the village which went with us can share some knowledge. I, I don't know. Could it be? Mm, he would say uh, you guys already have um, the House of Exile. What more do you need? The what? The 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 house of exile where you guys are currently staying. Oh no, I mean, uh, we don't want to. Uh, we 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 don't like your home, but uh, if people want to survive in this village, or they leave because there is the black mist coming anyway, or oh, yeah. in the meantime they could get some more food and uh, if they need help for it maybe we can find some kind of agreement between uh, the ones who were greeted in the, the village and and the one who the inhabitants you see what i mean <laughs> i don't know how to explain so so, so you want to help the people that's what i'm pretty much hearing yeah like, if people need help maybe we can make something that makes everyone happy so you want to go out, give food for them, and that's it. And, and and hope that Eldar can move his people out away from the from the dark mist. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I think everyone needs some more strength because if they leave, uh, if they don't have food or anything, they will just die. Uh, you see what I mean? Mm. If no one makes some uh, stock and uh, things like that, it won't be useful. What do you think, Zuzo? <laughs> mm. Zuzo is dead. <laughs> I mean, the people are starving, starving and they need food, yeah, they need to move to third place. Mm -hmm. So, Eldar would say, or right, if you want to give us food, give us oh, food. But can I'm, we uh, but I'm not moving. Uh, can we ask people from your village to come with us and maybe we can teach them some 
basic things or get them to to help us? Mm, let's see. Make make a make a roll. Oh gosh. <laughs> Again. <sighs> oh joy. Oh. <laughs> no, Mitrelli. No, 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 no. Can I have a second one? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Please, you have you to one. one. I I need. <laughs> and Zizo can't special help you. Special rules for me. <laughs> Zizo can't help you because he's he's quiet. <laughs> Mato can. Mato can help me. Mato. Uh, okay, fine. <laughs> Are you can <child> or anyone? <laughs> Please, someone make okay. something useful. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, when when you say it, uh, Eldar seems to be a little bit annoyed of you, All right? Like, like you keep, you keep, you seem to keep asking questions that he just doesn't want to answer, and then, um, and then Ma Mata would say, uh, "Please, we're only trying to help your people." If you choose not to move, then so be it. But at least let us take care of them. And then um, he hesitates for a moment. And then he says, Again, if you bring the food, uh, it'll be fine. But I won't move. Uh, if you would like to speak to my people, I will have to be there with you. Uh, all right, then tomorrow. Um, yeah, because he is, he's mute for a whole day. Yes, yeah. right. Yes. Yeah. Uh, then <clears throat> we can suppose that tomorrow in the evening he can come with us and speak to his people to to make a meeting or something. Yeah. Um, okay. He would say, uh, I'll meet you at the house, uh, the exile house. Um, I tell him that we can't take this decision alone because the, the house is on towers, and uh, that maybe we could meet at the center of the village. <clears throat> I prefer that. It's more simple for everyone. Because anyway, we can speak to the people if they are not. Uh, Everyone won't come to the home, I mean. Um. And I have to be careful because I don't tell him that, but uh, he has a magical voice and I don't know if it would be a good thing that he try to speak uh, in the home where we have the village and uh, everyone. <laughs> yeah, you don't, yeah. But uh, you, you, would, you, you say meet in the center and he says, okay, that's fine. Uh, All right. Yeah, I'll bring my guard, and I'm assuming you're going to bring your guards as well. That yeah. little red guy over there. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> yes, we have. Just boxes, boxes, boxes. Like, like... Well, you like you 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 don't hear that. Oh no, no, no he's no, he's no, no. he's writing it all down because he's oh, okay. silent. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> then I will explain. Don't worry. So, <laughs> so I don't tell him that, but guy. uh. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay then, yeah, we do like this. Next evening we meet at the uh, center of the village. Okay, so it's a and, date. Uh, <laughs> I guess we can't ask for any guarantee because I don't know how we could guarantee that uh, <laughs> he won't try to use his voice against <laughs> us. But, if but you maybe I have... Um, <clears throat> Uh, out of the game, maybe I have a plan that we could uh, we could share. He, he di did a, uh, did he see that we used the bell for the to mute him? No. Uh yes. Uh, Zizo. I saw it. Yeah, Zizo had to ring it. But you guys, did... you didn't hear the the thing, but you heard you see saw him move, like shaking the bell. Yes, but he was. Uh... He didn't see us doing it, right? Because he was in the shower and coffee, coughing. Yeah, but there was light in his in his bathroom. When he opened the door, you guys were right in front of the door. 
Ah, oh. uh, okay, <laughs> yes, I see. Okay, okay, yeah. then you saw what happened. Oh, no, okay, okay. Okay. Well, uh, I will explain later then. Okay, then we, we stay like this and uh, we go back to the to the place. <coughs> uh, we thank him and uh, we are sorry that uh, we had to do like this and maybe we can get back our friend <laughs> and, uh, in the meantime too. <laughs> If you can, uh, he would say your f your friend cannot leave until I can speak. Why? <laughs> he, uh, he's he's looking for a cure. A cure to what? To ah, for your illness. Sickness, yes. And then you see him cough, but you don't hear it. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm suffering, okay? <laughs> I can't express. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, then. Yeah, well, we go to him all the same just to <coughs> greet him because we didn't see him last time. But okay, okay. All right, so you guys. Like this. So you guys go downstairs. Yeah. Okay. Boom. You guys went downstairs. And we go to him. So this is the second floor. Only it. Huh? What are you talking about? You ha I mean, like, you have to move. It's so pretty now. There's the kitchen. I don't. I don't see the. Oh, there, oh, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So all the all the food and stuff in here are old and rotted. Uh, you guys went up here and saw that there this this was a closet that was pretty much empty and then all the food in here is bad mm -hmm. so in here the closet you see mm -hmm. okay. uh you guys saw some some uh, forks and knives and other cooking utensils The, the, all this food is rotted because it wasn't used at all. It's not some kind of spell or I don't know. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then there's the door that you guys looked through and saw someone sleeping on the other side. But you guys couldn't unlock the door. Oh, you guys... oh yeah, that's one room. You know what? I totally forgot because I really forgot <laughs> about the room. But uh, I would have asked the guy. <laughs> Shit. Oh yeah, I forgot. But uh, <laughs> after one or two weeks, uh, I couldn't remember that. <laughs> yeah, uh, you, you want to run back upstairs and be like, "Hey, who's in that?" Room? <laughs> I wanted to. <laughs> I had a question. Uh, well, maybe we can. Uh, I asked Matto on the way what she thinks about it. Uh. Hold on, let me see something. Let's see, uh, Mato. Hi, kitty. Huh. Uh, it, it's a door. I, I couldn't, I can't see what's on the other side. Yes, but I, I mean, do you think we should have asked uh, the Lord about this or not? Uh, it is a possibility that this this could lead us to somewhere else, but it could also be nothing. We we won't know for sure unless we ask. Um, okay. But as far as as everything has gone so far, I don't think this is necessary. <laughs> All right. What? <laughs> what? Yes, yes, wait, wait. <laughs> Okay, so you guys. It's all right. It's all right. Okay, then we continue. The next floor. Uh, yeah, we have to go back to the library. I guess there's nothing more. Yeah. Otherwise. So, uh, yeah, this is this is the main courtyard. The thrones up top. Front door is at the bottom. So you guys go back to the library. This is the room that you guys came from. And then there's the next room. You can see the doors, right? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, kind of? The orange part. Blind. Blind. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, no, right? Oh, yeah, they are small, but we can see them. Yeah. Okay. I thought I put the screen in my face. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, this was another closet that had a bunch of stuff on the ground and everything. Very unclean. Uh, this was another closet. You guys, <laughs> yeah. And then once, once more, whatever's in here is bad or it's just empty. And uh, the doors are closed in this one. Uh, you guys do remember that um, uh, Tiberius was with an orcish fella, a really tall orcish fella. Looks like was in a suit, almost like a butler. Ah, yeah, I remember this. Like beast. Like beast. I remember the strange guy. Yes. I'm asking, do you guys want to go in? That, still knowing that. Uh. Well. We are alone, but we can tell that we saw the Lord and uh, well, we can hear it. Well, I can't speak, speak but. <laughs> <laughs> and I actually, actually want to say, say something. something. I, I can't, can't speak, speak it. it. Well, once that he wanted to say something. Give me the paper. Give me the paper. Give me the paper. Give me the paper. Give you the paper. <laughs> we came for Tiberius. Yes. Then why not we go inside? You say what? Sorry. What? If we came for Tiberius, why don't we go get him? Uh, well, yeah, we we go get him. Uh, that's just because there's the. That's just because there's the other guy that we are. <laughs> well, well, we have the key. The, the Lord, Lord with us, right? No, no, it's no? just you guys. Uh, uh, but in case they ask, well, we can knock at the door, like, uh, oh, we, like we you, respect your privacy, <laughs> like, like normal <laughs> people. <laughs> Here, I'm, I'm gonna open the door for ASAP. Okay. okay. Well, we knock at the door. And we show that we are kind people, and we won't we won't attack. Baby. Baby. Hmm? Oh, it's, oh, it's allergic, allergic to, the to the cat. Yeah, it's great. Thanks for getting a cat. <laughs> What's happening with the cat? What? Oh, oh. yeah, allergic to the cat. Yeah, so you have to take allergies to it. I try. Uh, in fact, I I don't hear so well. I don't know why, but it's okay. It's okay. You could hear your swallow. That was weird. Hmm. Hundred fifty dollar mic. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. Ugh. So I have to take. I have to take medicine because the cat makes me sneeze. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I said. You're allergic to it. Yeah, so that's said. That's why I said thanks for getting a cat. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, 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 it's a stem. Uh, so yeah, so do, are you guys going inside or not? She wants she to knock. knock. Yeah, I want to <laughs> knock because uh, like this, it's not. It's not like we are. We are thieves, so I don't know. But what does Zizla want to do? Zizla wants to get down, but I guess we have to be civil. <laughs> so you guys knock on the door. Um, the the orcish butler opens it. That's really good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, he's like, "Oh, I, I." I wasn't expecting guests today. Oh, please come on in. Thank you. <laughs> we are looking for a friend Tiberius. And he's like, "Yeah, that man over there, right?" And points at Tiberius, who is I traumatized you too. <laughs> <laughs> who is who is cur currently has like three stacks of books around him, and he's just kind of like like flipping through and like reading, like no, 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 no that's not it, no, no. <laughs> and uh, the orcish man's like, I want to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> I 
say hello. <laughs> and then uh, he looks and he's like, oh, good. You guys are here. You guys can help me. Here, take some of these books. And he just hands you guys a bunch of books. <laughs> Please, look for anything that says coughing, sneezing, and blood. Uh, it can be many <laughs> things, you know. <laughs> can we? Can we? <laughs> Susu but is he, already wait, thinking. But wait, uh, wait, wait. He he can write, but he can't read. That's a, that's a tactical choice, you know. Yeah. I mean, it, it is, is possible. possible. <laughs> I, 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 I can't write my Spanish. I can understand it. I can't, can't speak it. it. Huh? Sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So so Zuzo is hand, trying to hand the book back to Tiberius, but uh, you see he's trying to speak, but he can't. <laughs> <laughs> and then Tiberius like, yes, Zuzo, you read those. <laughs> well, uh, since you won't have the choice. <laughs> he gives him the gives way of the books. <laughs> uh, well, it is for the... It is for the Lord, right? Yes. And uh, did you learn something more than us? I mean, did he tell something about his illness? Or... Mm, he has a very compelling voice. Like, very deep, very soothing, gets to you, you know? Makes you just want to listen. Very nice. Very and Don't nice. you... <laughs> Don't you think that this is a a curse of some kind that makes him go well that makes him heal? That beats me. I mean, look at me. You talk to me, and I'm doing just fine. Yes, but I we know that he can use his voice to give orders to people, and maybe that's this power that makes him uh, weak and uh, makes him call call blood. Uh, Yuka would say, I found blood, and her hands Tiberius a book, and then he looks at it. No, no, that's not it. Keep going, keep going. She's like, oh, oh, okay. Yuka is so sweet, she's like a school girl, and uh, I will do my homework. I'm a good student. And uh, yeah, he, he would say, uh, yes, yes, the, the Lord is sick. Um, he seems to be sneezing, coughing, uh, blood. I'm trying to figure out which kind it is. Uh, I've already deciphered that it's not like I think three different illnesses. Uh, it seems to be more like a death illness. Why? Um, because why else would he, you know, want me to look for it? And uh, I, I, this is the orc. Uh, the orc is still with us, right? Yes. Uh, can I uh, ask him to uh, if he knows something about the? The Lord's uh, illness when it happened, or it happened. Uh, make a roll. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Mm hmm. 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 Just okay. Food. So he would say, uh, "Yes, <clears throat> Lord Eldar has been sick for some time now, uh, roughly about two to three years ago. Uh, he started coughing and it just never subsided, but now it seems to be getting worse." And. Uh... Mm, yes. And you don't have any idea what might have caused this? Uh, I write something? Sure, what do you write? Um, I wanna, I wanna ask, ask, like, like well, well, you mentioned, mentioned the way of who was with the king when it started to pop, like, was this, if I find someone. Okay. So, uh. So yeah, so. The, He's been sick for about two to three years. Don't quite know. It's he's been sick for a while, so long that it's it's just getting worse. It started off with just simple coughing, but now it's just now it's getting much worse. 
and and you said something about why haven't you helped him or something like that or have you tried helping and then he would say i'm not i'm 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 not a medical doctor i i don't know what i'm looking for <laughs> uh and then zuzo would I... hand you a piece of paper that says was anyone with the king when, uh, when he got... started talking to yeah. you Me? He mm -hmm. hands the paper to me? Mm -hmm. He mentioned but can... it to you. Yes, He's but like... can, can you tell me again what you... Uh, uh, Zuzo wrote, <clears throat> uh, Was anyone with the king when he got sick? Ah, okay, then uh, I asked this to the to the orc guy. Mm. And, uh, <clears throat> and I add if uh, did something happen uh, three or two years ago? Uh, he would say, uh, I, I don't honestly know if, uh, if there was anything of importance that happened, if, like, someone was trying to kill him or something, but, uh, Edwin, um, his guard was with him. He never leaves his side. And for two, three years or more than that? Since he was a child. Oh, okay. Yes, we... We had the short mention that he had a family before, but we don't know what happened to, to them. Do do you know? Make a roll. Ah, <laughs> no! <laughs> uh, Mato, help me. <laughs> <laughs> you can help me. Oh, I don't know. So, so. <laughs> look, look at that. <laughs> like, it's puppy eyes, like, please! <laughs> Make a roll, Mato. <laughs> I I did make a roll. So, um, so you asked, uh, yeah, it's basically what happened to his parents, right? Yeah, to his family. All right, and and then um, uh, Mato is about to talk, <clears throat> and then Yuka holds the book up to her, and she's and she's like, "Do you think he's looking for something like this or like this?" No. <laughs> And, and she's like, oh, honey, I don't think she's looking. For, he's looking for any of those. And she's like, oh, man. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. She, she's doing your best. Yeah, and uh, she got she got a natural one. So. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah. Uh, no one else can do yeah, this and, best. And then, um, and then he he would say, uh, uh, Eldard has has told us all not to speak of what happened to his parents. But it's not linked to his illness, right? Not, not that I know of. Okay. Uh, uh, buh, 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 buh. I, I'm tempted to to ask about this person in the other locked room, but I guess I won't get a answer. I you can try, but. Oh uh, yeah, you can try if you want. It, it's your call if you want to try or not. Uh, maybe not for now. Maybe I keep it for. I don't. Uh, can I? <clears throat> uh, can I whisper to Mato if she and, and Zuzo if they think this is a good idea to ask about the room? Well, I I maybe won't whisper, but I'm I make them understand that uh, this room is uh, interesting me. <laughs> so you. You, <coughs> you ask Zuzo and Mato if uh, if that's okay. Yeah, like uh. Yeah, and Zuzo, what do you think? Zuzo doesn't really care. Let's go on. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> uh, Mato's about to speak, and then once more getting interrupted by um, uh, oh, Tiberius. Oh, back. Back. Huh? Oh, back. Okay. Uh, Tiberius interrupts. And says, "Oh, that's Sir Henry, the main butler of this uh, establishment. He's a uh, sleeping." The what? Uh, Sir Henry. Uh, he's the main butler of this building. Ah, oh, okay, okay. He's sleeping. Oh, all right. Okay. He's he's the uh... he's the old man that you guys met in the in the beginning. When you guys came here. Oh, that makes a very... Ah, yes, I remember. Yes, I remember this one now. Okay. Well, we got our answer. 
All right. Uh, well, I ask if people want to stay um, to stay in this home, uh, or can we take the book out to study them, or what people want to do now? Do they want to move back to the to the home already, or what time is it? I didn't. Uh, I don't even know what. Uh, you guys have been here for roughly about like, like almost to an hour, but you guys didn't yeah. cast, you, you guys didn't cast the bells, uh, the, the silent spell, uh, all like 15 minutes ago. So it's roughly around like 10 PM. Okay. So it's still night. Maybe we can stay one more hour to see if we can find something about the illness and then we go back to to the home and tell everyone uh, what has been decided okay is it okay yeah it's fine now we can make rolls to see if you can find it yep. oh wow that's <laughs> such a surprise to myself <laughs> uh, uh, Zizzle you want me to roll for you or no Zizzo's in the bathroom. Oh wait, Zizzo can't read. <laughs> 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 That's no use. <laughs> you will wait a long time. Uh, so, so uh, you start flipping through your books, and then um, and then uh, Yuka Yuka brings a book up to you, and she's and she's like, I I think Tiberius is talking about this one, and it's the common cold. Because there's coughing and there's sneezing, but I don't see blood. But that's two. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, you need can be that normally. If it wasn't common cold, it should be fine already. Uh, it can't last for so long. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so cute. <laughs> um. Uh, you didn't find well, anything. Do, do I have every? Uh, I mean, I have a book on me or something, some notes or maybe some knowledge from my uh, from my place. Do uh, sure. If you make a medicine check, so roll d twenty plus seven. Ooh, that's good. Yeah. Okay. So so yeah. Uh, his symptoms are are pretty similar to a, a very very bad illness uh it's practically uncurable and oh, shit. and leads to death it, it, is there uh, huh? uh the, there there is a cure but it depend it's dependent on the uh the the body if if it's strong enough to uh, withstand the the antidote, because the antidote is a very very strong and potent um, herb, and uh, can either uh, speed up the killing process or slow it down to the point where it's it's gone. But it's not yeah. Uh. So it it's it takes time for for them to heal, but uh, with this herb, it it'll it'll shrink it a bit or speed it up a lot uh, do i have any clue what kind of plant is it antidote uh with that <clears throat> uh i'd say yes but i don't have a name for it yet <laughs> uh okay <laughs> well uh, but uh, we can improvise and uh, just tell uh, yes the plant for now <laughs> um let's see if i can make one up you can see any generator name or Anasa. Let's see. Nonsense. Okay. It's a can be. <laughs> yeah. If it's okay for you. Yeah, it's fine. So nonsense. See. <clears throat> okay. Um, uh... It's it's not located in in your wood, in in your wooded area, uh, where you came from. Uh, mm -hmm. you do know uh, some rare locations. It's mainly found in um, swamp areas. But we we didn't went through any swamps, right? Yeah, not yet, not yet. Uh. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's what you know. Yeah, it's Nasensi, Fountain Swamps can possibly help. <laughs> uh, somehow I'm tempted to keep this information for myself, but I mean, I retell it them to to my friends, but maybe not to the Lord directly because in case he. Well, I don't know. He didn't. He didn't look like he wanted to die, right? Or he was ready to die. Um, he he looks very pale, and yeah, he seems unfazed by the fact that he's coughing out blood. Then uh, he could die. He doesn't seem to care so much, in fact. But he's asking Tiberius to find a cure. That's... Yeah, that's strange. Yeah. Um. All right then. Uh, well, I tell them, uh, I think I know what the Lord has, but I need some time to, uh, to, to recover my knowledge about it, but it is pretty bad. I just tell them that, uh, usually, uh, uh well, I tell them what you say, that, uh, the, the body has to be strong and, uh, if I can remember the antidote, uh, it can kill him or save him. Do you tell him what it's called, or you huh? just do you tell him what the no, plan no. is called? But you just you just tell I, him that I, you have you have an idea. Yeah, I just tell them that I have an idea. I don't give uh, the name yet. Okay. Um, let me. Let me see I just tell them that I need to to think about it because I'm not sure yet, but. Uh, once I know, I I will give more details. Ah, God damn it. I forgot to to load Tiberius's um, to make Tiberius's uh, character. <laughs> uh, he probably would have anyway. They sign. So Yuka would say, <laughs> I "Was I was trying so hard to find it?" <laughs> <laughs> and a, and a I, will, I will teach you things, Yuka. You will see. And you will know everything. Mato just uh, pats her head. Uh, Zuzo is just like, whatever, I'm assuming. And uh, Tiberius is, uh, if if you have something, please, please tell me. I have to tell the king. Or, sorry, Eldard, not the king. Sorry. Uh, I, tell, I tell him that I, uh, when I know more, I will tell, but I just need to make sure of my... Uh, my information. I don't want to give any bad... Uh, details all right then at the very least i will tell eldart that you know something yes 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 yeah, I'll do that. this uh, this can be you you can tell him if he's still awake but uh about that Tiberius, i need to tell you something before you go up <laughs> because you will try to speak to the lord without uh, much success <laughs> What? <laughs> I, I missed that last part. You would try to talk to the Lord. Uh, I want to, to speak to Tiberius, maybe uh, on the way to tell him that uh, he can speak directly to the <laughs> to the Lord because he won't get any answer. Oh, you're going to tell him that he's silent. <laughs> okay. And, and yeah, it, that's why. Like, oh, interesting. Oh. Huh. Very interesting. Uh, how how did you how did you manage to do something like this? Um, I explain later. I'm uh, out of the game. I'm afraid Tiberius has a, a, a is like a spy. Tells everything very easily. <laughs> <laughs> I want to keep details for us. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I just tell him that uh, I will explain to him, but. That happened because we were scared that he uses his voice. <laughs> alright, alright. Well, if you guys are planning to leave, then by all means leave. I will stay here and keep looking for more information. Uh, hopefully, I, you know, with your hints, I can possibly find uh, the cure. Okay. I will tell you as soon as I have more details. And uh, the orcish butler is just like, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> you will have to support uh, more Tiberius time. 
Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's your turn to suffer. <laughs> so, so you guys walk out. Uh, yes, we we go back to the home. Okay. Yeah, I, I think know. now Zuzu can speak, right? Uh, it's been let's see, fifteen minutes since he cast it. By that point, but it's been like roughly like thirty more minutes. Yeah, thirty more minutes. All right, fifteen more minutes. And then, yeah. All right. And then we go back to the home. All right. So you guys go to the, you guys go through the front door. Or you guys go through the window. That you guys came through. <laughs> <laughs> the front door. <laughs> All right, it's locked. Uh, can someone open the door? <laughs> <laughs> the lock. No, no, no wait. The, the wait, lock is on this can... side. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys oh, can. We no. can we can unlock the door right from yes. where we are. Yes, you guys can. Okay, then we we unlock it. Okay, and then you guys walk out. And we go out. Okay. Uh, going outside. Uh, everyone make a perception check. Oh. Oh uh, gosh. Oh well, not so bad. Four, four, four. <laughs> so you got a four. We got thirteen. Okay. So there's a outside. What is this green? Where's Mako? That's my turn. Alright. Um let's see what Mato and Yuka gets. So Mato. Okay. Yuka. Okay. So, uh, Zuzo, you don't see this. Uh, Vaya, uh, you would see um, uh, the uh, Mariko, uh, white hair, blue eyes, uh, the woman from the um, from the House of Exile. She said that she will come with you and uh, watch the area around you to make sure that it is safe. For you guys and she seems to be just scouting the area like running and scouting the area you guys do see her running through the forest oh okay but she she doesn't seem right. in danger or something like that right yeah she she's just looking around oh okay uh, well we join her okay so you, you guys join her i'm just gonna put you in this tree yeah um and, oh. and, she, and she's like well I, I i'm glad to see that you guys are okay did everything... Strangely, everything went all right. <laughs> Strangely. For now. Oh, that's that's very uneasy for me. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I will give you details, but we we managed to to get some kind of appointment with the with the Lord tomorrow in the evening. Uh, to see what we can do for this village, and if you can find a common agreement for everyone. Hmm. Um. Everyone in this village seems to still be awake, but not moving. Uh, I mean, like they're 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 in their house, but they're all awake. Like puppets? Not like puppets. Like they're it's it's just weird that everyone would still be awake. Okay. Like at this time of night. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh. Well, we. We continue to the home, I guess. <laughs> okay. And I asked maybe on the way if she knows something about this or. Um. Uh, I I hope uh it's it's nothing uh crazy or anything, but it it is bringing me back like very haunting memories i guess I, I i'm afraid for these people i i found uh or not i didn't find but the original landlord of the the, the house of exile found uh two bodies by uh by the lake uh today not today not today uh, uh. 
but it was it was a couple of years ago. I I can't quite remember when, but uh, she found two dead bodies with no cuts, no bruises or anything. They were just dead. That's sad. Yeah. So it's bringing back some haunting memories of that. So I'm hope I'm praying for these people to be safe. Ooh, great. <laughs> Okay, uh, well, uh, when we are home, uh, we decide of a plan. Tiberius stayed in the in the in the home, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, we we will give more details when we get home. Uh, we tell everyone. Yes, thanks. So you guys make it back to the state. Uh, about halfway through, uh, Yuka starts like uh, getting drowsy. And then Zuzo just, I'm assuming, just picks her up on, on, on your back or in your arms? Oh. In your arms. Uh, Cute. <laughs> I need you to make a strength. Oh, come on. <laughs> Saving them. Why are you stretching? Why? She, she can't do it. <laughs> Okay. So try to uh, try to pick up this rock. Okay. So so Zuzo, Zuzo uh sees that uh Yuka start to uh like sway back and forth a bit like she seems to be getting really tired, and then Zuzo just walks on over and picks her up in in his arms, and she starts freaking out. She goes, "No, don't throw me!" <laughs> and, <are> you... <laughs> and yeah, she starts freaking out. <laughs> And Why it, did you traumatize her <laughs> so much? <laughs> no. And then you just held, you just held onto her tight, and then you're looking at her, you're giving her that face that I'm not gonna throw you. <laughs> it's a, it's fine, you guys. You, you won't do anything wrong. Don't worry. It's just helping you. <laughs> <laughs> Cause last time you just picked her up, you just threw her. <laughs> yeah, it slammed, it slammed the pocket to the wall. For your car. Now, if you if if you said I'll give her a piggyback ride, she would have been okay with that. Cause you can't throw her when she's on your back. <laughs> she oh, yeah. has a survival instinct with a specific to to. Um, at this at this point, by the by the time she gets drowsy, yes, you can speak. Oh, oh well, well, well. Well, I didn't well, I didn't know. Know. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. So, so uh, uh, by the time you guys make it to the home, she fell asleep in your arms. No. But uh, you guys are not at the house. Um, is uh, Ito and uh, her husband awake? Uh, I would say Rhinox is the husband. Ito is currently sleeping. Okay. Uh, then I ask everyone to to come, and I will tell them what I know about this uh, illness and uh, the antidote. Okay. So, um, so you tell Rhinox. You tell uh, uh, Mariko. The, the yes, green. Mariko, Rhinox, uh, uh, Mato, and uh, Yuka and Suzo. Uh, Zuzo, no, Yuka doesn't hear it, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, Yuka yeah, is asleep, asleep. But I mean, uh, we we'll tell them. So, so Rhinox would say, uh, so we're gonna we're gonna heal the guy that you think is trying to kill us. Uh, that's what I'm thinking about. I mean. I don't want to to convey in an innocence, but I guess he he's in the in the stage of the illness which seem pretty bad, and I don't even know if we can save him. But uh, we took an appointment with him tomorrow evening at the center of the village to see if we can find uh, any common agreement. Uh, because at at first he wanted to come in this home, but uh, I'm still careful because he can use his voice, and I don't want him to to turn everyone against everyone. Yeah. Uh, and uh, maybe we can keep um, this uh, information as a 
as some kind of uh, advantage because even if he looks down and maybe he wants to die, he asks Tiberius to find an antidote, then somehow he still wants to live, I guess. Uh, so I and uh, there's another thing I think he saw Zuzo using the bell then uh, tomorrow we need to how to exchange place someone has to to bear the bell uh, without uh, the, the without the lot to know or we take several bells uh, uh, among us like this, he can't target someone in particular to use the, the right bell, you know? So, uh, Marika would say, uh, thank you uh, for not endangering my people. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. I, at least I can take some good decisions. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, do, I, I have an idea. Maybe we can uh, f like make a fake bell. Yeah, that, that's that, what the... that maybe uh, Zuzo here can carry and then someone else carries the other bell. Mm. And then and Rhinox, Rhinox is like, this this just seems really stupid. Um, if he has to be with you guys to talk. Uh, to talk to the to the villagers. Why does he want to be with you guys? It, it, Who wants to be with us, guys? I don't uh, understand. Eldar, because uh, Eldar said that uh, uh, if you want to talk to the villagers, he has to be there. Mm -hmm. So, so Rhinox is like, why does he have to be there? Like, what's he trying to hide, or like, what kind of power does he have over these people? Maybe he cares about his people still, and. Uh... Maybe we can see if we can understand what happens if he use some kind of spell against uh, the villagers to keep them happy when he's here and uh, when he's when he left everyone is acting strange or depressed or I don't know. And about the bell, uh, yes, I agree. Zuzo will care uh, a fake bell and maybe someone can come to the meeting but stay out of it. Uh, like uh, hiding and using the bell if he sees that someone is trying to control us. Mm. See what I mean? Let's let me see something here. Mata would say I can do that. But you can't speak then. You can't uh, use your spells. Yes, but I I can be invisible, and if if it's if it's just for for silence, then then I'm. More than happy to do so. Okay, what everyone thinks about it? Uh, Rhinox is annoyed for some reason. Yes, <laughs> as usual, <laughs> I would say. Uh, Zuzo, we... Zuzo, what do you think of that? You carry a fake bell, invisible Mato carries a real bell. I mean, I mean, the dream seems fine, fine with it. Um, I don't care. Uh, you, you hear in your mind. Because the bell does talk. Uh, it's speaking to you. Yeah, it's speaking to you, and it's saying, "Being passed around like a tool. I'm so worthless." Oh yeah, I forgot to talk. Yes, he. he I was, heard him too. Um. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but but the only the one who's holding it can hear it. Mm -hmm. So that's what you hear, Zuzo. Being passed around like a tool. I am worthless. And then uh, Rhinox is like, why don't, why don't you just let your child do it at that point? Why don't you just let Yuka do it? <laughs> yeah, make Yuka visible and then she does it. Because, uh, well, well, maybe... She's out of danger and she's invisible. Yeah, she's out of danger, but in another side. I don't know if it's a good idea that she, she's left alone with the bell. Uh, and I know what I'm speaking about. <laughs> <laughs> I know things. <laughs> and I don't want the bell to, to speak to her because uh, she's a kid and uh, she doesn't have the same uh, thoughts as us. She doesn't have the same maturity. I don't want her to, to, keep, uh, to, to get in touch with this bell. Uh, 
I don't tell this to, to Rhinox, but uh, uh, I tell him that uh, we have a good reason not to, to give the belt to, to Yuka because uh, she, she, she should come with us so that it doesn't seem suspicious. And then uh, Marika would say, uh, I can take it. Uh, he, he doesn't, he hasn't seen me, or at least not that I know of anyways. It's true that I was more thinking about her at, at first. I mean, if Mato wants to do it for some reason, it's good, but indeed, uh, the other one can uh, can be very discreet, then uh, it could be a solution. Yeah. I, I would more say this. Maybe the, the woman keeps it and uses it discreetly if she sees that we are under control or anything. All right, so is, is that settled then? I think it's better like this, yes. Okay, so do you give it to her now or you give it to her on the, uh, when the day comes? Uh, what do you mean? Like, do you give her the bell now or do you give her... Oh, when... no, we we, okay. we have time, I mean. Yeah, yeah. But maybe we can also tell the, the woman that uh, the bell has a voice and uh, maybe... Not with the bell around, I would tell her discreetly that this as a voice and can be uh, acting strange sometimes or say weird things then in case of she she should stay careful about it yeah. <clears throat> she would say uh, wow you guys you guys live dangerously yep <laughs> <laughs> I, I roll one every time <laughs> <laughs> yeah. first, I know what I mean. <laughs> first roll every game is always a one <laughs> That's weird, right? That's like, I don't know why. Uh, That's the troll of the game. I yeah. don't know. A troll yeah. algorithm. <laughs> but yeah, so it's it's roughly uh seven thirty your time right now, right? So if you if you want to go, you can. Yes, maybe we can stop here. Thanks. It's a good moment to to stop. Yeah. But um, at least we can we could continue. <laughs> if you guys want, but uh, if you guys, uh, I was thinking if you guys want to speed up things because you guys have like pretty much a whole day to yourselves. Do you guys want to do anything? Just like, oh, I want to write a book. Oh, I want to go fishing or something like that. <laughs> while, while while you guys wait for Eldar to get his voice back, uh, I think we we would organize everything so that it be perfect and uh, really decide uh, who comes to. Uh, the meeting, uh, who keeps the bell, uh, or we act in case we act strange, or things like that. Very planning everything. Okay. Every kind of scenarios. Um. Oh, just just a side note in case you forgot. Uh, Yuka has mentioned that when Eldar speaks, uh, he sounds like her dad. Father. Quote, yeah. Quote unquote. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Zuzo, do you want to do anything for a day? I want to sure. <laughs> bathe in the sun. <laughs> oh, yeah, get out that, that dog red, red can. can. <laughs> uh, I mean, at this point, you could say bond with Yuka <laughs> or try to. <laughs> <laughs> That is probably something you'd say. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and Yuka would just look at you like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> this time. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> uh, yeah. But yeah. So, so okay. uh, I'll do the bonding thing with Zuzo on the side. And then, uh, yeah, you, you guys are planning for everything. Uh, I'm gonna make a quick roll. The fake. Have to do it too. No, no, it's fine. the The fake bell looks. <laughs> the fake bell looks pretty good. Great. Okay. Okay. It is perfect. Okay. Then uh, when we do the I'm... party again. It, it it all depends on Zuzo because he's the only one that's tired when when it's time for us to play. Uh. uh... I let you decide, or we can decide by text and uh, any way you tell me. Okay. Which will be best for you, okay? You said, you said that, that you're fine, you don't, I think, Saturday. Saturday? 
Hey. Yeah, I, it should be written somewhere, but I, I can send it again. Don't worry. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what? Yeah, she says uh, that it should be uh, somewhere on the, the Skype. But if not, yes, then she'll uh, send it again. Yes, the days when I can do it, but... Yeah. Uh, yeah, I send it back to you in case of... We can oh. do it like this. It would be Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Also, yeah. maybe Tuesday, depending on the hour, but not possible in the afternoon on my side. Mm. Mm. Uh, I guess, I guess we, could we could do it Friday, Friday because, because I don't go to work, work until 6, six on Fridays. Apparently, I've been going to work at 5 at Saturdays. Saturdays. Then so. Friday, like we did uh, in the the first uh, mm -hmm. party, is it right? Yeah, so, so Friday, uh, 8 o'clock. AM our time. Uh, yes, then it is. Uh, it is uh, seven. Yeah, it's uh, five in my side. Five PM in my side. Okay. Okay. Mm. Yep. Good. It works for me. All right. It's fine. All right. See you next week. See you next.